Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm, uh, I'm sorry if I seem a little bit, um, um, a little bit out of it right now. I, uh, I just uh, got my lab results back. And uh, uh, just as every doctor suspected, I'm simply too much. <laughs> um, I, uh, I come to you as a, uh, a, a carefree platinum blonde. Um, but I haven't always been a carefree platinum blonde. I was actually uh, born and raised as a brunette. Uh, but I've been a platinum blonde for about five years now, except for a month-long period somewhere in the middle uh, where I had a, a suspicious mole on my back that I had to get removed and biopsied. Uh, for that period, I went back to being a brunette <laughs> because I thought, no, no, blonde Julio can't deal with that. That sounds like a job for a brunette. <laughs> I, um, I just uh, updated the, uh, the software on my iPhone. <sighs> and I was mortified to find out that when you update your software, what used to be the shooting star emoji becomes a meteor. <laughs> Now, I don't know if Apple knows that the difference is monumental. <laughs> because, of course, the shooting star emoji was this gorgeous stroke of iridescence. He'd go from a very deep blue to a very soothing baby blue. It'd be like, Tss, ah. <laughs> The meteor, on the other hand, is this aggressive orange ball of fire. <laughs> so for the longest time, I thought I was being flirty, when really, I was being a psychopath. <laughs> I'd get text messages being like, hey, Julio, will I see you later? And I'd be like, I don't know, maybe. <sighs> when really, I was going, maybe. I am. Um, I, uh, I brought this up to the uh, genius at the Mac store. Uh, and he said, Sir, I have to move on with my life. Um, as you can probably tell by now, my favorite color is uh, clear, um, followed closely by shiny. Um, I first remember the first time I, I ever fell in love with the color clear. I was a little boy, and I saw Cinderella's pretty little feet going to that glass slipper. When I saw that, I was like, what is that? <laughs> Mother, let's rewind. <laughs> and she was like, rewind to what? And I'm like, you know to what? to the shoe. You know, a lot keeps me up at night these days. But, okay, remember that scene in Cinderella where she has to rush out of the ball and she leaves behind that glass slipper. The prince finds the shoe and this is all he has left of her. But then presumably there's a scene where the prince goes to his subjects and he goes, have every maiden in the kingdom try this on until you find the girl I met at the ball. But I bet they were like, or <laughs> you could just come with us and look at their faces. And he was probably like, but how would we use the shoe? 
You know, just because you have a tool doesn't mean that you have to use it. <laughs> okay, unless there's any questions. Thank you. Uh...